Yes, people. Take care. Um, my name's Nif. This is a post match review. Obviously, on the United point. Um, what can I say? The match itself wasn't the most entertaining match to say the least. Um, it is expected when you play a lot of youth players that don't usually get minutes and a lot of first, well, fringe first team players that don't really play. I mean, if you throw them in a blender and tell them to play a nine minute match, I mean, you're not going to see the most free flowing match. But with that being said, I do believe some of the performances that we saw tonight were inexcusable. Maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe I'm not. I don't think I am. Um, but um, some of the some of the older players in for Manchester United tonight were poor, in my opinion. Very poor. I feel like I feel like the youth players actually outshone ninety five percent of the fir- of the fringe first team players that we played today. Um, I mean you. Uh, you'll hear what I have to say when I go through my, my player ratings, but some of them were poor tonight. Um, you know, the football tonight, regarding the football, um, we moved, we didn't play around football tonight. We didn't. We played very similar football to Oli. That was um, Carrick football, Oli football. Just with a lot of young younger players, we tried to play around football, you know. We did, at times, try and play in a 4-2-2-2. But it just wasn't working. It just there was no lead. There was no leadership on the pitch, and um, the energy was poor. A lot of the players looked tired, confused. I mean, there's not much more to say. Passes were being played too hard, too early, behind and in front. Runs weren't being made. Players were playing lazy. It, it looked. It looked like. It looked like a lot of them weren't playing for anything. A lot of them were just playing for the sake of playing which is crazy to say when you when i mean all the names on the pitch are fighting to play every single name on that pitch tonight for manchester united is fighting for a place in the squad except tom here so you have to ask why was it so poor today i'm not sure maybe he has stuff to do on the training ground maybe he has mental stuff i have no idea but um yeah to summarize the football tonight just wasn't the best and we were lucky to only come up with a draw. We were lucky to get a point tonight, in my opinion. I, I feel like young boys did deserve to win. Um, I mean, they had a lot of chances. And against, I mean, forget even against the other team. Against young boys on another night, we probably would have lost. They were horrible when it came to finishing. And that's the only reason why we could come out of this game with a draw. Um, on the other end, for us, when it comes to finishing as well, we created a lot of, I don't know, half chances where we should have done a lot better. Um, but a lot of our chances went to waste. And, yeah, I mean, let me go through my player ratings because I, I will go in on players quite a bit. So, in goal, yeah, Dean Henderson. The goal wasn't his fault. Could he have done better? Maybe. get He maybe could have got something to it. But the goal wasn't his fault. Made a lot of bang average saves. Saves he should be making before that. His distribution was okay. And, you know, he was a good super keeper. He was off his line very quickly. And he was coming to get rid of some chances that maybe De Gea wouldn't necessarily do. Decent performance from um, D. Henderson. I'll give D. Henderson a bang average six. It's a good, all right performance. Uh, going on to Aaron Bissaka. I'm giving Bissaka a three out of ten. I thought he was fucking useless. First half. You get me? Like... The first half was just was below average, and the second half he just got even worse. I mean, at half time, I was on Twitter reading out, you know, what was being tweeted about the match about Man United players, and a lot of hate was aimed at Wan Bissaka, and I kind of held back from saying anything regarding how I felt. But Jesus Christ, even like second half, he was fucking dreadful. Going forward, he offers nothing. Wide open crosses, he's not crossing. He's not trying to beat a player. The only time he tries to beat a player is in her own half. That makes zero sense. I don't know what's going on with wan but his head is completely gone. Maybe now he's got his big dream move to Man United. He's comfy. He's like, yeah, man's in the starting lineup. There's no way the low can take my spot. I'm just living life. You know, let me, let me just get my money and live. Fuck off, man. No. Now, now you made your move. It's time to become the best right back you can possibly be for Man United. Don't just chill. I don't understand how you can be a modern-day fullback and you can't go forward. 
I've I've defended him. I've said he's not that bad going forward. He can dribble. He just looks weird. But cr he can be a player. He just can't do it in the final third. And he can't cross. And that is that's the nail in the coffin for me. The fact that he's not crossing in wide open crosses. Other team, uh, other defenders aren't even closing him out. And he's wide open in a good position to cross. Because they know he's not going to do it. It is dreadful. I can't lie to you. And um, I've, I don't know. He, he, he either needs to learn how to go forward, learn how to cross, learn how to attack, or he needs to leave Man United. It's as simple as that. If you can't do, if you, as a fullback at Man United, if you can't cross and you can't attack, you're not good enough to be at Man United. You're not good enough to be a Man United fullback. And you've given him more than enough time to see improvement. And I see very, very little, if any, improvement. So, 3 out of 10, he needs to fix up in it. Eric Bay, I'm gonna give Eric Bay a, a seven out of ten. I thought it was our best centre back on the pitch. Uh, he saved, he did save us a couple of times, covering for Matic. Good performance from Bay, just a Bay performance. Good perf recently, every time he plays for Man United, he plays well. Good performance for Eric. Matic, I'm giving Matic a, a f what did I give? I gave Van Bissaka a three. I give him, I give Matic a three and a half. I thought Matic was dreadful tonight. You've been given the skipper. You're your captain in Manchester United. Yeah, you're 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 too old and too slow to play to play in your desired position. So we dropped you into a centre back position. You offer no leadership skills. You put your team in danger a couple times as the leader. I thought his performance tonight was dead, was dreadful. And for me, his time at Man United is done. He's too old. He's too slow. He's not good enough. And um, yeah, I just think it's time for him to leave. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, it is upsetting because you know in his day he was a very good Premier League player, but now he's he's nowhere near good enough to be a Premier League player. Not even for a lower table team. He's not. He's just too old and too slow. He needs to leave the Premier League, MLS, Spain. Just I'll just go elsewhere, man. Premier League, your time's done. Going on to Luke Shaw, I thought Luke Shaw was actually decent. I'll give Luke Shaw a six. I thought he was decent tonight. He got an assist. Um, going forward, he was alright. Defensively, he was alright, and he got subbed off. I think because of his, I think it's all to do with concussion protocol or something. I'm not too sure, but I thought it was decent, and um, I can't really get onto Luke Shaw with anything. Uh, going to midfield, Matt, oh, fucking dreadful. Matt, I'm giving Matt a three as well. Useless. I believe if Matt wasn't on the pitch, he wouldn't have even noticed us being down a man. Defensively, he was an absolute ghost. Offered nothing defensively at all, and um, going forward, I can only I can only remember him making two good passes. It's as simple as that. He made two good passes in a game, and that's it. That's that 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 was his entire contribution. I saw him trying to like you know rally the team, tell everyone to push forward, but no one listened to him. So that's not even leadership. That's just you know making noise. Cause yeah, you're not, you're not a leader if no one listens to you. You know what I mean? So um. Yeah, uh, alongside Matic, your time in the Premier League is done, my friend. I thank you for your service. You know, just like Matic as well, ex-Chelsea baller, coming to Man United to retire. Uh, don't retire here. Go elsewhere. Go to Spain. Go to America. Leave the Premier League. Leave Man United. Your time is done. You offer nothing. I don't know if you're good in the changing room because, you know, that's one of the reasons why we apparently gave your contract changing room influence. Telling youth players to you know press someone around you and no one's listening to you, so clearly he has no authority. So um, I don't know. I just yeah, he just needs to leave. Three out of ten, rubbish in my opinion. Uh, alongside him was Van der Beek. I thought Van der Beek was actually all right tonight. His mistake that led to their goal. I mean, it was a three-player mistake. It wasn't just Van der Beek. Van der Beek was just the most clear part of the mistake. Um, you know, Matic played a pass that should not have been played to Van der Beek. Uh, yeah, again, Matic, what are you doing? You're the senior player, you're a captain, you're doing that. Dreadful. Um, yeah, and then Van der Beek obviously played the pass to Aaron Basaka. He just didn't care, he just wasn't on his toes, wasn't ready, he just didn't, honestly, just, you know what I mean? You can tell a lot from a player's body language, and um, Van Basaka, I don't know, maybe... Yeah, I just feel like it, you know, becoming a Man United player has got into his head and he's he's just enjoying it. He's not actually just he's not actually striving to be the best player he can. He's just vibing. You know what I mean? So um 
Yeah, Van der Beek, apart from that mistake, I thought he actually put in a good performance, good tackles. Um, one thing I do say, he does he does slide a lot. He maybe needs to try to stay on his feet a bit more, but apart from that, I thought it was quite good. I'll give Van der Beek a I'll give Van der Beek a six and a half out of ten. Actually no, that is a bit of a drag for a one run. I'll give him a six, just a six. Um Jesse Lingard, I thought he was fucking useless. He needs to leave. He needs to go. I thought I thought under Ralph Maybe he maybe we'll try and stay. You know, with the football that we play, high press and high intensity. Maybe we'll suit Jess, you know. He is the player that can press, he is the player that can run, is good at running. Pressing and running is one of his best attributes, but clearly he just doesn't want to be at Man United anymore. I just don't I just honestly feel like he wants to leave. <laughs> and his performance today, you know, really did spell that out. He wants to leave. He doesn't want to be a part of Man United no more. It's clear, it's obvious. And um yeah, performance tonight was dreadful. No pressing, no intensity, no desire. He was on his heels a lot of the time. No leadership as a senior player as well on that pitch. He offered absolutely nothing. And um, yeah, if that is the last performance we see from Jesse, I won't be that disappointed. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I mean, in, in, in a game where he could have, you know, tried and persuaded Ralph to play him more often. I mean, if I was Ralph and I just watched that, I'd be like, no wonder you weren't playing. Why did we even sign you again? Like, what, at West Ham, you're a flipping baller, and now, you're just useless. So, um, you know, I, I, that, that, that's all I'm going to say regarding Jesse Lingard. Um, yeah, just pack up your bags. Newcastle might want you, West Ham might want you, maybe even a Leicester will want you. Just leave United. It's your time's done. Um, in front of him, or not, beside him, Alanga, I'll give Alanga just a six. Good intensity throughout the whole game. That's one thing he did bring. He was probably our most intense player out of the forwards, you know, in terms of pressing and whatnot. A good pressing. Should have scored. Should have finished better in the chance that I think Mason played him through. Uh, but yeah, decent game from him. Nothing special. Should have scored. But a good, I, I, I can respect his mentality. So I'll give him a six. Mason Greenwood, I'll give him a seven. Looked like our best forward. He was our best forward. Scored a great goal. Uh, good interceptions. Good work rate and um, good passing as well. A lot, a lot of Mason Greenwood's long range passing today was bang on, and I can I can respect that a lot because I I didn't I didn't I didn't think Mason Greenwood could pass like how he was passing today in terms of long distance passing. So I can respect that. Um, and then beside him. Diallo, I thought Diallo struggled today. I'm gonna to give Diallo a five. I feel like he did struggle today. And and maybe it's confidence, match fitness. I'm not too sure, but he did struggle today. And um, yeah, because now talking about the substitutions. Um, I mean, who came on first? I'm um, okay. Tom Heaton. I'm just gonna give Tom Heaton a six. Didn't really do too much when he came on. Tender Mengi, for me, had a brilliant performance. Brilliant performance. I am quite upset that we chose to choose Matic as our centre back over Mengi, because I feel like if Mengi played a full ninety minutes, he could have, he would have probably got man of the match in Man United. I thought he was brilliant for us. Um, solid, excellent mentality. Slipping, getting up and chasing the ball down, getting a block. No one really got past him. No one got past him. Good blocks, good tackles, good headers, strength. Brilliant mentality, everything. I'm gonna give Tender Mengi a seven. I thought it was very good, and the only thing holding him back was it was only for a half. Um, who else came on? Regarding the sad, the Charlie Savage and Zidane was the name Iqbal substitutions. They weren't on for long enough. I'll give them both sixes. Happy to see them get their debut. Cholatiri didn't do anything when he came on. I I'll just give him a six out of you know he's young. The game was already pretty much done. He just had to defend. Uh, who else came on? Who else came on for Manchester United? I can't remember who else came on because it was, it just wasn't. I mean, the substitutions were pretty much. You know, they didn't really they didn't really do too much. You know what I mean? And we didn't really give them enough time to do anything. So Savage, Iqbal, Shalatiri, Heat, and Mengi, and yeah, so that was all our subs. Um.
man of the match. Man of the match for me was Eric Bay. I thought Eric Bay was our most consistently good player throughout the game. Um, I feel like a lot of player people give it to Mason Greenwood, even though he did drift out of the game in the second half. You know what I mean, if you give it to Mason Greenwood, I could see why. What a goal from him! But in terms of actual football, Eric Bay was our most important player on the pitch. He was the only senior player from Man United that actually offered leadership, that actually played well, and um, hopefully under Ralph Ragnick, he does get the minutes he deserves. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, yeah, that's my man of the match, and that is my post match review. Quite, quite, quite a poor f performance. Very poor. With the regarding the youth, I don't know. Maybe match fitness is lacking, but I did expect a bit more from the youth in terms of energy. I thought we could definitely outwork the young boys. That didn't happen. And the senior players, I thought, I feel like they would have provided a backbone for the youth. That didn't happen either. The senior players had weight in terms of backbone were even weaker than the youth. So I, uh, it, it was a disappointing match in my opinion. I didn't. I wasn't really. I was excited for today's game because of how much youth was being played, but I don't know. It was just a big letdown. I'm not gonna lie to you, but yeah, that is it regarding my post match review. Let let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm being too harsh and whatnot. Comments. Um, but yeah, on to the next match. The next match is on Saturday, Saturday at five o'clock, I think, against Norwich or four thirty. Um, obviously, I'll make I'll post my I make my post my preview for that. And yeah, I will see you guys before that match and obviously during that match. So um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Get in the comments and let me know what you think. And um, yeah, my name's Nath. This is United Point and I will see you lot soon. Take care, guys. Peace.